Hey guys, it's Ethan. In today's video, I'm gonna be um, naming some of the reasons why I love Lego. And kind of like, almost like celebrate 100 subscribers. So I do know 100 subscribers isn't that many subscribers compared to some YouTubers. Um, lots of YouTubers have millions or thousands, but I've only been on for like, on YouTube for about a month and a half, and I'm at 100 and I'm super, super happy. So Last let's get to month and a half has been a big journey for me. Um, I'm just starting YouTubing and I'm really liking my channel. This is like my dream thing. I really wanted to do this. I really wanted to show you guys my Lego city. And I can't thank you guys enough for all of these subscribers. So if you are subscribed, give yourself a pat on the back because you've really made this journey happen for me. I can't thank you guys more. Um, those of you who are subscribed, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. It'll make me really happy and this journey will go a lot smoother and faster. All right, so my goal for the end of the year is 130 for the end of 2022. So if you want to, please make that happen. And yeah, so let's get to the real chase of this video. This video, I'm going to be naming the reasons why I love Lego so much. So I love Lego because, well, there's so many different ideas and things that you can create with Lego that I'll be naming in this video. The whole point of this YouTube channel was to show young, teenage, older adults my Lego city and how to build different things. And I hope that helped you. Um, yeah, so it's really been a big journey. So let's go ahead and get to the stuff why I love Lego so much as I'm knocking down some people here. What a coincidence. All right, so let's go. The first reason why I love Lego so much is because I can like, almost like express my feelings and opinion and just put it on platforms and build it. So some of the examples of that are this. My Lego center. I was bored and I just started making it. I didn't know what it was gonna be. I just grabbed some random pieces and it turned into this. And I really like it. It's a nice little check-in area, a security thing some plants on the top, and one of that roof design that I used over here in Orange Cup. That's just one of the examples of that. I can go on a lot more, but yeah, that's my biggest one. Another reason why I love Lego so much is because lots of the time when I go to places, like when I went to Disney World, I went to Disney World in Florida, I had the worst amusement park ever. It was the size of, about of this platform, the parking lot here, super, super tiny, super, super ugly. It had that roller coaster, but super ugly and rainbow. And that was really about it. It sucked. But when I went to Disney World, it gave me our ride ideas and I built this one, which looks a lot better now. For example is Orange Cup. I went to a coffee shop with my mom and we got a cookie and my mom got a coffee and I decided to make this because my city didn't have a coffee shop and it was a perfect spot right here in the downtown we got cookies because we both love cookies so we put them in there and we've got a little coffee maker for 
what my mom used, and I really, really liked it. For example, the Air Force Base. I watched Top Gun Maverick, which is a really great movie. And I wanted to make one of these in my city, so I made one. And there you go. You continue going on for hours, okay? Because most everything in this Lego city happened because I went somewhere and experienced it. And this is my favorite part, probably my favorite part about Lego in general. The second reason why I love Lego so much is because you can build and break, move around Lego. Unlike other toys, you can't move it around or break it. But with Lego, say I built something and I hated it, I could destroy it and start over. Or say I didn't like the layout of my Lego city, I could rebuild, make it, move some place around and stuff. That's exactly what I did with this layout. Now it's probably my favorite. Yes, I did say the first one was my favorite, but this one I think is my favorite. So some Lego YouTubers out there only make Lego for show. Me, on the other hand, I don't do that. I build stuff to play with it. I love playing with Lego, it's my favorite toy. Yes, I am getting older, but I love playing with Lego. It's like, it's awesome. Absolutely love it. It just gives me a sense of real life and I can do pretty much anything I want with it. I can bring tourists in from a plane and they can buy a house in the residential area. Or I could make a Lego family and they could go to the amusement park. Gymnastics place. So if you're wondering why my YouTube channel is called Bricks and Flips is because the bricks, I think you can all tell I really like Lego. Flips, I like doing flips. I like doing gymnastics in general. It's really fun. So I, make, I wanted to make this into my Lego city, which I really, really like. Top 10 favorite moths in that one video, which you should check it out. It's really, really cool. That one, like it was my second favorite mock I've ever created. And my first favorite is my Lego house. Video wasn't a video of what I like most to play with. It's my gymnastics place. I like playing with it. Like the bars, the balance beam, the rings making them do tumbling and flips. I love that. And this is why this is my all time favorite place to play with in my city. Along with like the amusement park or the city center. But gymnastics place is my favorite out of all of them to play with. Not my favorite thing I've ever built, but my favorite thing to play with is the reason why, that's my number one reason why I love Lego is because I can play, express my opinion and build and play with what I like. This is what I like. This is what I enjoy doing. Top three favorite reasons of why I love playing with Lego so much or just why I love Lego in general I can play with Lego. I get ideas from places I experience. I can express my opinion if I'm bored. This is just, I love it. Lego City, it isn't as big or as like, lot, like lots of Lego as other YouTubers out there with Lego YouTube channels, but I like this. And as long as I like it, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm putting on YouTube. And that's what I want to share with you guys. So again, thank you so much for the 100 subscribers. I hope to get more in the future, but I can't thank you guys anymore. So if you are, are out there and you are subscribed, make sure you feel happy of yourself because I really, really am happy 
this is what my goal was. And that was all my mind was set on. So yeah, by the end of November, let's try and get to 115. But if that doesn't happen, that's fine. I'm at 100. One step closer, one step closer to growing my channel. I grow my channel lots. So I hope you like this video. And I would like to tell you my posting schedule. So, yeah. So if you guys have noticed or something or read my, I post YouTube videos every Thursdays and Sundays. Okay, so make sure you go check those out. Go on my channel, go on your subscription box, get the notifications every Thursday and Sunday. YouTube Shorts, on the other hand, on every Tuesdays and Fridays. So make sure you go check those out in your subscription box or if you get notified. So remember, come back Tuesdays for Shorts, Thursdays for a video, Friday for a short, and Sunday back for a video. And it'll restart. So that's my current posting schedule. So make sure you come check that out. So yeah, I'll wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And I can't thank you guys enough for that many subscribers. So thank you so much for coming on by to watch this video. I hope you watch my videos in the near future. So yeah, I hope you like the video. Bye, I hope you have a great rest of your day.